In this video, I'll show you how you can install Docker and Anypin in Ubuntu. The first thing you need to do is head to the official Docker website. And you have to click on this download Docker desktop button and choose on which operating system you are. So I'm trying to install Docker and Anypin on this Ubuntu machine. So I'll select download for Linux. Then I'll be taken to this entire documentation website. Now I can select which exact platform am I on. So I'm on Ubuntu. I'm going to select the first option. And it is going to give me the entire guide. So firstly, it says to install Docker successfully, you must meet all the general system requirements, which aren't too complex, which just means you need to have a 64-bit kernel and CPU, and some basic requirements like having 4 gigabytes of RAM. So assuming you have all these basic requirements, they aren't too complex, the first thing you need to do is to install the known terminal. So I'm going to click on this command and open the terminal on Ubuntu. And once you have this terminal open, you can paste it here. So because I'm using sudo, which means super user do, it is going to ask me for my password, which I'm going to provide. So it is going to go ahead and install this GNOME terminal. Now, after you have the GNOME terminal, let's get down to the main thing, which is installing Docker desktop. So before you can go ahead and enter these commands, you have to follow this first option here, which is set up Docker's package repository. First, you have to initiate it. So I'm going to go with this link, install using apt repository. So let's see what we're trying to do. Firstly, it says before you install Docker Engine for the first time on a new host machine, you need to set up the repository. Afterward, you can install Docker from the actual repository. So we're trying to connect it to the place where it's stored. To set up the repository, copy this command and open terminal again, which I just closed, and I'll paste this entire setup here. And I'm going to run it. It is going to ask me for my password again, which I'm going to provide, and you can see it gets straight to work. So it is going to do all these things. That is going to install these two libraries, which is CS certificates and curl. This step is complete. It took about 20 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and install the actual engine now. So I copy this command and head back to terminal. And now I can paste it. I'm going to paste it and it's going to start installing all those things. It asked me for some permission. I just said Y, which is for yes. Now to verify if the install completed correctly, I can just use this with a command and it is going to make a Docker container called Hello World. So that is going to verify if it's working. And you can see in the background is setting up Docker and all these things, the CLI, the container, the actual engine. And there you go. It is complete. And now I can paste the final command and see if it works. It says unable to find image, which it generally says, then it's going to go ahead and download the image. So now this step is complete, we can head back to the last page and carry on with the rest of the steps. So we're done with the first one. The next is we need to download the dev package. So in the time that Docker is getting downloaded, let me put it in visuals of what we're trying to do. You have this Ubuntu machine. Firstly, in most simple terms, we add the Docker engine. And then we're going to add our Docker software, which is being downloaded at the moment. So we did all these commands just to get the engine ready. And then we can add the actual application, which you're used to, like this one, and then just install your containers. Our download is complete. I'm going to head to the folder and see where it's downloaded. So it is in the download folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open the terminal in this location. So if I open open in terminal in this location, you will see that I'm inside downloads. And that's what I need. I'm going to go back and copy this command and come back to the terminal, paste it. It is going to ask me for the password again, which I'm going to enter. And you will see that it's going to complete this pretty fast. And then I will take this and head back to terminal and paste it and complete the installation. So what this command is doing is in this location, I have this file. So let me just show you again. If I do ls, you can see I have this file, which I just downloaded. So this is what contains the Docker desktop application. So I'm going to write that command. Let me just paste it back and press enter and it is going to install all these things it is going to ask me for some permissions i'm back after about one and a half minutes and now you can see it's complete if i search docker now here that you should see i have this docker desktop perfect for me it's not opening because it says the virtualization support is not there but you will never see this issue for you the docker desktop app will actually be working so i'm back after about five minutes and I was trying to fix the entire situation from my computer itself without actually restarting and going into the BIOS. I was just trying to change the configuration, but the nested virtualization situation didn't work out. So I'm not going to show you the visual version, like the Docker desktop. But as you know, 
the Docker is already installed in the command line. So this entire setup, the second part that we're trying to figure out was the actual visual component. So I'm not going to do that. I'll just take this command and run it. So let me also add a text editor here and I'm going to change a few things. So this is the exact command and I'm going to add it to the community as well. But this is pretty similar to the local setup, except for the webhook, I'm going to replace this with localhost. And then I think everything else stays the same. And this is changed and the entire Windows pathing. So I'm going to take this command, which you'll find in the community, or you can just copy it. This is pretty simple. And open the terminal. And if you paste this here and run it. OK, so it's telling me that I do not have the permissions. So I'll have to enter sudo in front of this and then write this. And then give the password. And it is going to go ahead and download any 10 for me. As you can see, it's following the same procedure. It cannot find it locally, so it just goes ahead on the internet and fetches it. And this is how you can install any 10 on Ubuntu. And if you have the visual version working on your computer, that is great. And it will work if you're not on some nested virtualization environment. So I'm working on Windows, then I have this virtual machine. And then inside of this, I have this Ubuntu setup. And then I have another virtual machine, which is a Docker. So you can see how many layers there are. And that's why it's breaking, and I'm not able to get the visual version working which I can if I restart the computer and do that entire thing. So this terminal is similar to what you'll see here. So when you open this terminal here, this is equivalent to this. So I just wrote it here. About two minutes in, it downloaded the actual image and our container is running. Right, and you can also see by entering the command docker images that it has downloaded it. So I'll just say sudo docker images, that's where the entire thing is. There you go. So it's working here. And to see all the containers that are running on your computer, you can just say docker ps. Again, I'll have to write sudo in front. Maybe I should just make a special terminal for that. And there you go. That 52 seconds ago, this container was created with any 10. So now if I go to localhost 5678 on my computer, you will see that I have any 10 working. And now I can just sign up with whatever. I'll just say, there you go. So any 10 is working. And that is how you install any 10 in Ubuntu. See you in the next one.